ITYT Nation. Today I'm going to be discussing the um, election results in Egypt. The election which uh, finished in January this year um, and which had some interesting results. I'll be discussing the three main political blocks which have emerged from those elections um, and just uh, discussing their uh, political platforms. Um, in addition, I'll be talking about the recent uh, news uh, coming from the Constitutional Assembly in Egypt, which is drafting a new constitution, and um, there was some uh, tension between some of the blocks there, which I'll explain. Uh, finally, I'll go on to discussing my own personal view of um, uh, what Egypt... I'll give you three scenarios, basically, of what I feel that... Uh, that Egypt might be, be like in um, six to eighteen months, probably not six months. That's too soon. Probably twelve to eighteen months. Okay, well, let me get started. So, um, I'm sure most of you would know uh, that um, last year the president uh, of Egypt, the former president of Egypt, Hosni Mubarak, was overthrown in a popular uprising. Um, and uh, since then, uh, power in Egypt has rested with the um, Supreme um, Council of Armed Forces, which has been entrusted with the power as a transitional force um, until democracy can be established. Now, uh, one of the main steps towards democracy was taken uh, at the end of last year, when elections began, parliamentary elections began in Egypt. Um, and they concluded in January. Uh, so um, the three main um, blocks to emerge uh, uh, victorious, in a sense, or uh, with uh, with uh, power um, from those elections, um, are the Democratic Alliance, the Islamist bloc, and to a lesser extent, uh, the Egyptian bloc. Now, um, the Democratic Alliance uh, is uh, made up of um, a number of uh, moderate Islamic parties. Um, chief among them is the uh, Freedom and Justice Party, and that's the party of the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, and they did the best in the elections. Uh, in terms of uh, votes, uh, they won 47.2% of votes for the lower house which translates to 235 seats out of the 508 uh, seat lower house and 105 of the 270 seats in the Shura Council, which is the upper house. Now, um, I, I, the, in terms of the political platform, it's um, a bit hard to gauge exactly where they stand currently. Um, some of the, the, the points uh, seem contradictory in a sense. Uh, for instance, uh, their stance on women and uh, minorities, um, they, uh, they claim that uh, they do not oppose women and corporate Christians from serving in ministerial posts or in um, the public service. However, uh, they deem uh, both unsuitable for the presidency, like a spokesperson came out last year and basically stated that um, a female or a Christian prime minister would be unsuitable. Um, however, they do support free market capitalism um, and the party membership uh, is open to all Egyptians who accept the terms of their program. Uh, in regards to law, uh, they want to establish a Sharia law. Um, but I think it's, it's still important to keep everything in perspective and um, stay th say that um, they are still an unknown quantity and it will be interesting to see um, what they do once they uh, once uh, once they uh, once they um, after the presidential elections, um, and it's also important to note that um, out of the parties contesting the elections, uh, from a Western perspective, they aren't the most uh, radical Islamist party or religious party um, to have gained seats within the in the election. Um, uh, that would be the uh, the Islamist bloc or the Al Nur, uh, which is led by the Al Nur party, um, and uh, they gained 27.8% of the vote, 
uh, which is translates to 123 seats in the lower house and 45 of the 270 seats in the Shura Council, which is the upper house. Um, in terms of their program, uh, they advocate for an, um, uh, the uh, implementation of strict Sharia law, and basically they're an ultra-conservative Islamist, uh, um, well, they, they run on an ultra-conservative ultra Islamist uh, ideology. Um, I do um, think it's important to state that um, while these parties are religious parties, um, it's important to note that uh, they did not gain um, electoral support sim chiefly for the reason that uh, they are religious parties. Um, uh, both uh, these uh, these um, these blocks um, have uh, provided social welfare, uh, grassroots social welfare, which has endeared them to the people as well. Uh, so, for instance, uh, both during the uh, the Mubarak presidency and uh, into the revolutionary period um, <coughs> um, they were providing uh, education uh, they were providing uh, food for those who could not uh, provide for themselves and uh, um, they gained a lot of popular support through measures like that and um, they've also bo both these pa both these blocks have um, agreed to um, honor um, all uh, pre-existing uh, international agreements and I think uh, the, the most uh, important of these is the peace agreements with Israel now the um, the third block is the Egyptian block which is uh, um, basically the liberal social democratic um, which is it's a it's a uh, it's a collection of liberal, social, democratic, leftist parties uh, who advocate secularism and um, a center-left ideology. And they won 8.9% of the vote, which is 34 seats in the uh, lower house and uh, 8 seats in the upper house. So uh, they did relatively um, worse than the other two blocks. However, um, out of the... Uh, um, uh, other uh, parties to contest, uh, they did the best. Now, the current situation um, in uh, in Egypt is that the military um, uh, council still holds most of the power <coughs> uh, and under the leadership of General Tantawi. Um, however, measures are being taken to restore um, Sorry, uh, my throat's not too good. Um, uh, to restore uh, demo democratic rule, uh, for instance, um, there have been measures to um, basically um, lift the state of emergency. It's still not completely lifted, but measures have been taken to um, progressively lift it. And um, uh, a poll conducted in uh, ninth in uh, October last year shows that uh, most uh, Egyptians uh, do uh, believe in the legitimacy of the um, are confident that the uh, the, the, the um, <coughs> uh, Supreme Council will uh, hand power back to the people. So two days ago um, the uh, there was a confrontation between the uh, the liberal secularists and the uh, Islamist uh, bloc um, uh, in uh, the Constitutional Assembly. Uh, the Constitutional Assembly has um, been uh, writing up the new constitution of uh, Egypt and uh, two days ago uh, the um, secularist liberals uh, stormed out of the assembly which is pretty serious and um, in uh, protest of the um, the, the, uh, the nature of the constitution, which they claim did not um, encompass the diverse um, nature of um, Egyptian society. Uh, so from that, I think uh, you c we can probably deduce that, um, that the constitution in its current form um, probably has um, a strong um, religious uh, inclination, and uh, that is probably the, the, the biggest um, problem that the um, that the liberals are having with it they've actually gone as far uh, to say that uh, they are um, planning to um, to write up an alternative and present that um, uh, to the uh, parliament so um, 
Yeah, I think I, I'll keep you up to date. But I think uh, the latest news is that the uh, the Supreme Council is right now mediating between the two parties and trying to reach a resolution whereby this uh, they can um, form a joint constitution. Uh, so um, I don't think it's far fetched to say that uh, Egypt finds itself at a crossroads um, after uh, 30 years of. Uh, authoritarian rule, uh, it has the chance to um, embrace a democratic system of government. Um, however, there are um, other possible uh, scenarios. Um, so basically, I see uh, one of three, obviously there are many, but uh, for time's sake, um, I'm going to uh, provide present to you three different scenarios which uh, could potentially occur in, in Egypt in the next 12 to 18 months. Maybe uh, it'll take a bit longer, but um, the first one is probably the most ideal situation. Uh, it's uh, the uh, establishment of a um, democratic tradition. Uh, that is to say that um, the elections, uh, the, so the constitution is written up, um, it is ratified. Um, the uh, presidential elections uh, go without um, any problems, uh, the military hands over power, and uh, most importantly, uh, uh, if the um, incumbent party loses uh, the next elections, they hand power uh, to the next party, because uh, the true test of a democracy is not uh, the first election, but the second election. Um, it's, the, uh, it's the ability of an incumbent party to transfer power um, to another party. Um, the second scenario, uh, which is probably more uh, realistic, um, is the establishment of an Islamic state um, in um, in uh, Egypt. Um, this uh, is uh, this. I mean, I have come to this conclusion because of the uh, the nature of the current um, disputes over the constitution the overwhelming support for the Muslim parties, the, sorry, the, the Islamic parties, um, and um, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, in that case, um, uh, I think um, there, uh, there, there will be some concerns over the treatment of minorities, especially um, in uh, Egypt. Um, as it does have a significantly uh, large um, Christian minority. Um, the third uh, and probably the most um, disappointing, if it occurs, um, scenario uh, would be um, uh, the military not handing power back to the people or uh, the military um, handing power back to the people in a superficial manner, whereby um, uh, parliamentary decisions and um, the parliament is undermined by the power of the military. Um, this is uh, not a ludicrous scenario. Um, I say that due to the uh, historic nature um, of the um, Egyptian army and uh, the um, fact that uh, the army has been an entry point uh, to uh, politics in Egypt um, and also just due to the fact that um, Mubarak was also from the army and um, I, I think that, uh, what do you call it, um, if this was to happen, it would probably uh, happen uh, in a fashion where um, democratic uh, institutions are created. Um, uh, to appease the people and um, however the true power and final say rests with the army so they'll take a uh, backseat control of the um, uh, policy making and decisions of the government um, anyway we'll see so uh, that's the end of my second video guys uh, thanks again for watching um, I, uh, I hope you uh, uh, enjoyed it and um, uh, please leave a comment um, let me know uh, if you um, if you agree with me or if you disagree with me or um, 
or if you if you think uh, if, the, if the, there's a different scenario for uh, for Egypt um, in the next uh, 12 to 18 months, I'll be uh, I'll be very interested to uh, to read all the comments and um, thanks thanks for uh, thanks for uh, watching.